hello hello and welcome back to another video in this video I'm going to be teaching you how you can lean more into your custom buildings and stop using prefabs as much and how you can use build to prop and off grid to really enhance your building so now this is just two prefabs that I just threw down right next to each other and yes this looks perfectly fine and is great you can just use this but it's kind of unoriginal and it's a bit low effort and people will probably notice that since they will recognize these places and they will realize that these are just prefabs so what you can do to really enhance it and make it a bit more of effort to put into it you can do them a bit more custom but how do you do that? so this is my custom farm and you can see it looks very similar it's definitely taken inspiration from there and you know but it can just fit your own style and what you want so once again how do you do that so that's what i'm teaching you now so first of all i just want to say that these prefabs over here they're not bad and they are really good because they are a really good source of inspiration so what you can do is just kind of go along the lines of that so i decided to go with a opposite with instead of having the flat on top and the curvy on the bottom i put the curvy on the top and the flat on the bottom so they are very similar and there's just taken inspiration so let's just get right into another example so i just placed down this uh, viking village thing right here this this little house so now I can show you how you can make your buildings more custom and this is very along the lines of my how to make a POI in that kind of sense but I'm just doing it for singular buildings so as always I'm going to plan this out but I'm gonna make a smaller building so I'm actually going to plan it out fully with my builds so now I'm going to add in a little door right here so that's planned and I know I want my door to be here so after I place my door I'm going to plan the whole floor plan plan the whole floor plan yeah that makes loads of sense why it does but anyways so now that I've just got a basic plan right here I am now going to place in where my windows are going to be so I'm gonna put a window here I'm gonna put a window here and I'm gonna put a window here so you can try and put them on maybe one per wall and just experiment really you don't want too many you want to have at least a few but now that we have all of those down I'm going to use brick and just signify my regular walls and if you have distinct features that you're going to add such as this with my broken down wall right here and them so I am thinking just adding just a little edit that can just show you where you want to have a broken down bit like just there and that can just really help to signify to your future self what you're trying to do and now for doing the roof um, either when you want to do it for flying you can use pyramid and then edit or you can go out of flight mode and just do that with your regular ones I'm just going to go out of flight mode and place regular floors but I really recommend using the cones and editing. So now that I've planned all of that out, uh, I'm just going to get straight into it and get out my pieces from the actual thing. So I'm just going to pull out all of the different pieces from this building and lay them out like a gallery. So now that I have all of my pieces, I'm just going to go to the door and then place in the door and then go around to the windows and do the same so now that I have all of them in place I'm going to place around my regular wooden walls so now that I have the regular wooden walls in I'm going to place in my uh, stone walls and just place them around because you want to have some diversity with your wall types but you don't always have to it's just a neat trick that you can sometimes have and when there is a change it's always nice to have an accent on it so when that comes out you can just have a little bit coming out here so it feels just a bit more normal in a way 
So now, once again, you just replace the roof with its actual pieces. So now after that, I just have all of this done and I've got this kind of weird roof pattern. I'm not the hugest fan of it, but I think it'll do. So I really like this outcrop kind of thing here, so I'm going to go back to it and I'm going to add a bit more on to it. So I'm just going to add a little bit that comes out here, just at the front, just like that. And then I'm going to add some supports. Because theoretically you can have things that defy gravity, but it just doesn't look as good aesthetically. So it's kind of nice just to have it look like it could function. So now I'm actually adding some stone for the outside of it because I think that it would look nice having the stone and it just adds an another bit of depth. And once again just adding an atmosphere to it can just really help so adding like a little garden out the back so if I just added this back here it would look really nice I think and then you just get a little gate and there you go you got a nice garden and back to this it's it looks all right but it's missing one thing and I'm gonna show you what it's missing so I'm just going to use the same piece from here and it's always nice having a bit of barricade on top of an overhang just like that it makes it look so much more just nicer and once again adds more depth which you do want so dealing with the interior first of all we're just going to add a floor and a roof to this so now that we have that out of the way we can maybe add some pillars so just adding some pillars can add some on the inside and some aesthetic on the outside so as we did with the building pieces, you can go inside of your favourite building that you're trying to create something of, or with props, I prefer to actually place down the whole gallery. I usually open the galleries, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to place them down. So you just gotta think of where you want to put it. So I know that I want to have a campfire in the middle and there to be some hay in a corner, and just some general living space all around. You just gotta have a general idea of what you want. Now, it can be sometimes good to add just little details that won't get noticed by many people, but just can really help out. Like adding these barricades to the broken down parts of the walls can really help its aesthetic of it being really run down. So this is like the only way to patch it up it can just add to the environment and aesthetic that you're really going for. Now when placing down things like your general living space, like the bed, you would have to think if you had these things where would you put it? Like you wouldn't put it right next to a window, you wouldn't put your bed right next to a window, you'd put it in a more enclosed corner. So. Obviously there's a lot of windows and this is all very open, so I don't have multiple rooms, which means that there is windows that you could look through on in every direction, but just the furthest away from a window and what you think you would prefer. Now just putting down a lot of containers and just a lot of things is really great for just filling up space, like I put these barrels all around and they just kind of fill up space and don't really have to tell a certain story they can just be there now I did say earlier that some containers and just things that you can lie around don't have to tell a certain story but you can have a lot of things that do tell a story like this being fortified as well as being really run down and being farm like like adding spear, th spear racks around and maybe adding some things outside which I'm going to get onto now so back onto the outside, it's just like a solitary building and yes you might want to add more buildings uh, but you can make it feel less solitary if it is just on its own. So once again you can just add things outside, so I'm just going to do the front. So and building off of it being fortified I'm going to add these little barricades that are here, some with spikes and some with not. 
you can add flags, though this isn't my first choice for having things, but I do like having flags in certain situations and with this more viking style thing, I'm going to take this opportunity to get to use flags. So I like having a bigger flag and more ornate being put into the ground, also it has grass coming out of it, so pretty fitting. But the smaller flags can go on top, since if you have a really ornate flag on top, that just in, if it was realistic that would crumble the roof. And just some more little details that aren't noticed by much, but you can just have like a clothesline out here at the front. And not many people would think of that, having one of them, but it's just a little detail that could just be there and it just adds to the atmosphere but doesn't have to tell a certain story. Because not everything does, but it's nice to have some things that tell a story. So now I'll just take you on a tour throughout this house. So we've got these barricades, we've got this rope thing that can attach something, we've got flags, archery, clotheslines, barricades covering up the holes, we've got some barrels, a lot of hay, spears, some broken down boxes, a table with a couple of stools, a bed with some bowls, a forge with a wooden seat, a bathtub with some more hay and in the center we have some stools with a bowl around a nice campfire. So now after making custom buildings that can be just as good and better than the original, now there are some things like off-grid circle trick and build a prop. So let's just get straight into that. So I want to first of all start off with the circle trick. So when you want to have a circle of walls or a certain thing, so say with walls, you want to have a circle of them going all around. So you place them at each of the, each of the circle. Now when you pull out your phone, press B or whatever the options key is on your device. You press that and this menu pops up. Now if you select build as prop to origin edge, and then close it. This only applies for the building pieces and it will work perfectly fine with props without. So now you cut it and then place and then rotate once on the yaw, place. Rotate again on the yaw, place. Just keep doing that until you have a full circle. Just like this. Now you can see that it does look a bit weird on there, but it does look like some kind of cool pillars. But say if you had a lot of a smaller circle, like this, now you can see that it is a very repeating pattern and it's a lot everywhere. So you can see how many times I've placed this, but if I recreate it again, you can see that actually moving it twice on small enough ones can actually work and it l uses up less memory and just looks a whole lot better. Though it does have a lot more of an octagonal feel right here than an actual circle. So now you can see when they do pop out and you don't want that, you want it to be more clean, then you can go here and cut it, then go to your resize and resize the width until you think it's good enough and it matches up with the side there. Now you just take this, place it again, and do the, the same thing, doing the circle trick, but now do it with these. So now, after placing it, it's clean along the outside, clean on the inside, and it looks perfect. So now, here are some tricks that you can do with build a prop that don't involve the circle trick. So with build a prop, you can actually resize all of these walls so that can open up a whole new thing of possibilities. So you can make super detailed walls and people have figured out that just having it uh, just having a wall as a quarter of an actual wall and then putting those together as your wall can make it so much more detailed. And it does take up a lot more memory though. So you can see the difference between this and this. A prime example of this is grass. So I'm just going to place down my regular grass and I'm going to do the super detailed version. 
This side here looks like it's more unkept and really long, while this looks like it's really rich and just is a lot of it. Now this is more, more this is a lot more memory efficient and this is not, though this looks insanely good. Now I really hope that you learned something in this video and that it was really helpful for you. Anyways, that's the end of the video, so if you want to support me, then subscribe, and if you want to be the first to be notified when I upload, turn on notifications, like the video if you enjoyed it, and leave a comment leaving your feedback if you want. Peace.